In this quick tips video, we're going to be looking at how to create drips. So drips you need to turn on right here in visual settings. In visual settings you can find down here or press the F12 key. This is at the bottom of the layers panel on the bottom right. Up here you can find it here in window visual settings. So we have create drips turned on. For drips to work, let's go ahead and add some watercolor on the screen. Turn on pigments because they're beautiful and increase the brush size. And let's use a couple different colors here. All right, here we go. Now, if you're trying to use drips and you have water turned down to one, there's not going to be enough water. Water we can see with show wet, keyboard shortcut H, you notice that there's water there. If we dry the layer, shift D, you notice the water disappears. So let's go ahead and we're going to turn off, show wet, and let's add water and a lot of water. So we're going to go right over the top. And now this is going to diffuse just outward. So what we need to do is we need to turn tilt on. This is on, but let's get it to go downward. So now you can see these drips. Let's go ahead and add some red. These drips are going to flow downward. We can change the direction and the velocity of the tilt. That means if this little blue line here is short, it's going to go slowly. If it's long, it's going to go fast. And you can move this while you're going to create some interesting drip patterns. You can turn this on and off by clicking here in the middle of the tilt window. And then right over here, you can also use the accelerometer. So if you have a device like a Surface Pro or another two-in-one tablet, a lot of them have an accelerometer. So you can actually use the accelerometer on the device. So if I tilt my tablet, this orange line is going to move the direction of the tilt. Now drip size, this is going to mean the width, just like adjusting the size of the brush. It's going to make bigger drips or skinnier drips. Using the blow tool, which is keyboard shortcut O, is going to affect the direction of the drips. So you can see that uh, I can, let's increase the size here. I can push. You can see we've got these tiny little drips coming out. Let's increase the size back to five. And drip length, let's bring this really short. And we're going to add just some water. That's keyboard shortcut W. Increase the size here. Add some water over the top. And press show wet so we can see all that water. Okay, now let's use the blow tool. And we can use this to create drips in different directions. Notice that these have dried early. Drip length, if we put it at 10, use the blow tool again, you'll notice that these drips continue across the canvas. Now you can use the dry tool, keyboard shortcut Y, and we can dry right here. Notice that this one will stop while this one is continuing because we dried that section. Again, we can see that here because it doesn't have blue over the top. All right, that's all the settings for drips, creating drips inside of Rebel 5. In the next video, we're going to be talking about reordering brush groups. So right here, you can see these different groups, my brush, nature brushes, watercolor, and I'm going to be talking about creating and organizing these. So stay tuned.